Shalom Israel. First of all, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh and our do so by Hashem and Mashiach Yahusha. Second of all, I'd like to give double honor and glory to the elders who taught it as truth and paved the way for us to come in and go in this truth. I also like to give a strong shalom to the brethren who are diligently in this truth, seeking out the righteousness and flee from the lust and cares of this world. Today I'll be coming back with a quick video on enjoy yourself. Now, this doesn't mean like go off and sin, but like enjoy yourself like while you're in the truth. Like you can't just be depressed all the time. Like there's a just balance. Like it says in Proverbs, Proverbs 11. But um, the first verse we're going to get the book of Sirach, Ecclesiastes chapter 14 and verse 5. Sirach 14, 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. So, like, if you're is evil to yourself, then, like, if you hate yourself, then you're going to hate your brother. Like it says, like, Leviticus 19.17 to Leviticus 19.18. Like, so, obviously, you can't be evil to yourself. You got to enjoy yourself, like, obviously, in righteousness. But, as I was saying, you got to be good at yourself. So that way you can be good to yourself and others. But the other place I wanted to go to is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 11, verse 9 through 10. Ecclesiastes 11, 9 through 10. Ecclesiastes 11, 9. Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let the heart and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and walk in the ways of thine heart, and in the sight of thine eyes. But know that for all these things, God will bring thee into judgment. Con, so like, Solomon's uh, giving us wisdom. Like, he's talking about young men, but like, he applied this to women. Say, ain't cut enough, I got. But as I was saying, like, it's, even though he's talking about young men, he could apply it to, like, looking about it. Like, we should rejoice in the days. Like, in the days of our youth or the days that we're alive. But, like, like we should rejoice, but we shouldn't do it in wickedness. Basically, that's what Ecclesiastes 11 is going to say. Verse 10, therefore remove sorrow far from my heart and put away evil from my flesh, for childhood and youth are vanity. God, so Solomon's like telling us like remove sorrow from my heart. And like most of the people in the world, like they're really sorrowful, like they're really depressed. But so like we being in this truth and being new creatures in Yahweh Shah, we shouldn't be like that. We should remove sorrow far from our heart. But we should like like, we should put evil from our flesh, but, like, we shouldn't also, like, live in vanity, like, we gotta have a pure, perfect balance, like, we gotta be upright, but, like, we gotta have some fun, like, you don't want to just be upright and, like, bored or depressed, but I wasn't planning on going here, but I have to, the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 1, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but it just weighs his delight. Come on, you can't just be, you can't just be like, um, sad all the time, like, in this truth. Like, no brother or sister, you gotta have fun. But anyways, this is just my quick video. I hope somebody got edified, and I pray y'all pray for me, I pray for y'all. And I pray y'all pray for each other. But like, give all honor and glory to Yahweh, and I do so by Shema Mashiach, Yahweh